Hey guys, Croft is here. Many people, including me, really liked Elizabeth Shaw in Prometheus and were extremely disappointed with the fact that she died and didn't get any screen time in Alien Covenant besides the prologue. I wish we could learn more about her character in other Alien films, but in this video we'll go over the origins of Elizabeth Shaw, her upbringing and life on Earth prior to Prometheus. There is also an interesting theory on what was happening on Earth before the expedition so that Shaw did not want to go back, as she told to David. Shaw was born in 2061 in a British family. After her mother died of unknown disease, she was raised by her father in South Africa. We also learn from David who observed Shaw's dreams that her father died of Ebola. Dr. Elizabeth Shaw was an accomplished archaeologist with doctorates in paleontology, archaeology, and human mythology. As a scientist, Shaw was very well prepared and had advanced knowledge in several research fields. She showed a high level of knowledge of ancient cultures and various methods to study them, as well as being skilled in sophisticated medical and forensic science procedures. Despite being a short, gentle, faithful, and calm-looking young woman, Shaw was a most humane and strong-willed individual with a high level of moral reasoning and a very devoted Christian. Her inability to bear any children left a mark in her personality as she became very upset whenever she was reminded of that fact. Shaw's infertility may explain her fascination with creation and a desire to know why the engineers created humanity. It's also quite interesting that she literally gets on her knees when meeting her creator unlike the other members of the crew and maybe that's why she becomes the only human survivor. Elizabeth was also a very disciplined person who appeared to be in top physical condition for her gender and age. Several tragedies from her past, including the death of her parents, also gave her a strong personality as well as a high sense of self-preservation. Thus, she could become very hard-willed and brave, even resorting to physical violence if the situation required it. In 2089, during her expedition in the Isle of Skye in Scotland, Shaw, along with her boyfriend and a fellow archaeologist Charlie Holloway, discovered a star map similar to several other ancient culture artifacts. They interpreted this as an invitation from humanity's creators or engineers. Elizabeth shared her discovery with Peter Whelan, the elderly CEO of Whelan Corporation. She was actually calling Wayland's office for a month in order to be a part of the expedition. Wayland later funded the creation of the scientific vessel USCSS Prometheus to follow the map to the distant moon LV-223. Actually, the ship Prometheus was traveling over 15 times the speed of light since it's written that the distance to LV-223 is about 35 light years, but the crew only spent two years in cryosleep. Elizabeth came along because she believed that the engineers created humanity and she desired to meet her maker. Of course, as we know, everything turned out pretty tragically. Although Shaw asks the captain to sacrifice the ship to save Earth, she clearly doesn't want to go back to her home planet and there is actually a theory that would explain that. At the beginning of Prometheus, we only see remote mountains and fields, so we don't know what's happening in big cities. A new upcoming movie, The Blade Runner 2049, actually can give us some clues on what was happening on Earth before the Prometheus expedition. The original Blade Runner movie was directed by Ridley Scott and there are lots of proofs that Alien movies and specifically Prometheus are in the same universe with the Blade Runner. One proof would be that in the script for Prometheus, Wayland at one moment mentions his friend saying that that's how he ran his corporation like a god on the top of a pyramid overlooking a city of angels. Peter clearly talked about Eldon Tyrell who appeared in the original Blade Runner movie. 
So in the trailer for the Blade Runner sequel 2049, we know that something terrible is happening on Earth which caused the society to be in chaos. By some shots from the trailer, we see that the environment is getting worse and pretty much everything starts to turn into a desert. By the title, it sets in 2049, which is about 45 years before the Prometheus expedition. So, if the situation on Earth stayed the same during Shaw's lifetime, it would explain why she did not want to go back. But the last interesting thing that I want to say is that Earth is never explicitly shown in the Alien movies apart from an alternate ending of the special edition of Alien Resurrection. Ripley and the surviving crew of the ship Betty were able to land near Paris and they found out that the planet turned to a wasteland. So maybe everything on Earth was destroyed due to a nuclear war, virus or simply radical climate changes. Although Alien Resurrection happens about 200 years after the events in Prometheus, we may assume that living conditions on Earth started to decline during Shaw's lifetime. Because the environment on Earth was in a very poor state and Shaw did not have any family back home, it's pretty obvious that she did not want to return. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate that, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel for more alien content.